An holy ghost creator come from my bright heavenly throne. Come and take possession of our souls and make them all thy own. Thou poor heart called the paraclete, best gift of God above, the living spring, the living fire, sweet unction and true love. Thou who art sevenfold in thy grace, finger of God's right hand, his promise teaching In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, and the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. Brothers and sisters, let us acknowledge our sins, and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and in what I have failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore I ask Blessed Mary, ever Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. But 
when Gallio was proconsul of Achaia, the Jews made a united attack upon Paul and brought him before the tribunal, saying, This man is persuading men to worship God contrary to the law. But when Paul was about to open his mouth, Gallio said to the Jews, If it were a matter of wrongdoing or vicious crime, I should have reason to bear with you, O Jews. But since it is a matter of questions about words and names and your own law, see to it yourselves. I refuse to be a judge of these things. And he drove them from the tribunal. And they all seized Sosthenes, the ruler of the synagogue, and beat him in front of the tribunal. But Gallio paid no attention to this. After this, Paul stayed many days longer, and then took leave of the brethren and sailed for Syria, and with him Priscilla and Acria. At Chenkeri he cut his hair, for he had a vow. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. God is King of all the earth. God is King of all the earth. All peoples clap your hands, cry to God with shouts of joy. For the Lord the Most High is awesome, the great King over all the earth. God is King of all the earth. He humbles peoples under us and nations under our feet. Our heritage he chose for us, the pride of Jacob, whom he loves. God is King of all the earth. God goes up with shouts of joy. The Lord goes up with trumpet blast. Sing praise for God, sing praise. Sing praise to our King, sing praise. God is King of all the earth. Alleluia, Alleluia. So you have sorrow now, but I will see you again, and your hearts will rejoice. And no one will take your joy from me. In that day you will ask nothing of me. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ.
On that day, you will not question me about anything. Probably, the most frequent question we humans ask is, why? It begins with those little children just learning to talk. So often their response to everything is, why? And it goes on all through our lives. Mostly in difficult times, in pain and trouble, we ask, why? And during this life, we ordinarily are going to be left unsatisfied regarding the most important matters. Why we lose someone in death, why a friend is seriously injured in an accident, <clears throat> why we can't get along with someone. Often none of these have satisfying answers. Despite our deep desire for security and certainty, most of this life must be lived in faith and trust rather than in full knowledge and clarity. The words in today's Gospel do tell us that suffering, pain and mourning do not have the last word. They reassure our faith. But they do not alter the fact that we may have to grieve for a time and be sad for a time. The triumph of Jesus over death is the great model for us and the ultimate assurance that pain and evil do not have the last word. But in the meantime, they can certainly break our hearts and destroy our happiness. <coughs> the follower of Christ is not spared the pains of ordinary human life not delivered from them by his or her faith. As long as life lasts, the pains, the difficulties, the questions remain. The difference is that the Christian trusts deep down that the one who raised Jesus from the dead will also raise us from our pains and our death. By this we are strengthened. Then our hearts will rejoice, and no one will be able to take our joy from us. The Father is always faithful and comes to the help of those who trust in Him. He is the source of all our joy. May He make us joyful in His presence today and grant us all we need. For the Holy Father and for the bishops and priests, that they may teach fearlessly, Lord, hear us. Lord, graciously hear us. For our rulers, our judges, and our police, that they may dispense the Lord justly and with compassion. Lord, hear us. Lord, graciously hear us. For those who have been recently bereaved, for the depressed and the lonely. Lord, hear us. Lord, graciously hear us. For those who try to bring joy and hope to others through their lives and their dedication to the risen Christ. Lord, hear us. Lord, graciously hear us. For those who long to be reconciled and to look once again on the faces of those who have deserted them. 
Lord, hear us. Lord, graciously hear us. Father, may we realize that you are our heart's desire and that in having you we have all things else besides. May we seek your kingdom first and your justice, knowing that all things else may be added through your loving care. We ask this through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands. It will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the vine and work of human hands. It will become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. Accept in compassion, Lord, we pray, the offerings of your family that under your protective care they may never lose what they have received, but attain the gifts that are eternal through Christ our Lord. Amen. <coughs> the Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, at all times to acclaim you, O Lord, but in this time above all, to laud you yet more gloriously, when Christ our Passover has been sacrificed. Through him, the children of light rise to eternal life, and the halls of the heavenly kingdom are thrown open to the faithful. For his death is our ransom from death, and in his rising the life of all has risen. Therefore, overcome with pastoral joy, every man, every people exults in your praise, and even the heavenly powers with the angelic hosts sing together the unending hymn of your glory as they acclaim. Holy, holy,
You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed, and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread, and giving thanks, broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of a new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith, saving the Saviour of the world, for by your cross and resurrection, you have set us free. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world, and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis our Pope and Dabula our Bishop and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of with Saint Joseph as spouse, with the blessed apostles, with Saint Francis and Saint Clare, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life, and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Trespasses, 
as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Saviour, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will. Who live and reign for ever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Those of you who cannot receive Holy Communion right now, I invite you to join us in making this act of spiritual communion. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, Come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there, and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen.
let us pray. Keep safe, O Lord, we pray, those whom you have saved by your kindness, that redeemed by the passion of your Son, that may rejoice in his resurrection, who lives and reigns for ever and ever. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go and announce the Gospel of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Today we begin the Novena in preparation for the Feast of Pentecost, which is the original Novena when Mary, the mother of Jesus, prayed in the upper room with the Apostles. And in a special way, we pray for the light of the Holy Spirit uh, to make good decisions and especially those in our leadership. Come, Holy Spirit, come, and from your celestial home shed a ray of light divine. Come, Father of the poor, come, source of all our store, come within our bosom shine. You are the comforters the best, you the soul's most welcome guest, Sweet refreshment here below, in, in our labour rest most sweet, grateful coolness in the heat, solace in the midst of woe. O most blessed light divine, shine within these hearts of yours, and our inmost being full. Where you are not, we have not, nothing good in deed or thought, Nothing free from taint of ill. Heal our wounds, our strength renew. On our dryness pour your dew. Wash the stains of guilt away. Bend the stubborn heart and will. Melt the frozen, warm the chill. Guide the steps that go astray. On the faithful who adore and confess you evermore. In your sevenfold gift descend, give them virtue's sure reward, give them your salvation, Lord, give them joys that never end. Amen. Alleluia. Endless ages round. 